When I was a, a little kid, my first inclinations to make art or anything was with obviously toys, but building things and making stuff like forts and um, uh, entire kingdoms for my, my stories that I wanted to tell. I've always been creative. So since I was a, a child, my first inclination was to make things. I just wanted to, I guess I wanted that process of making something and looking at it and then make it become meaningful to me. A lot of people ask uh, about my artwork, the, the paintings and the imagery in it, and they, they say, well, what is that? How does that reflect your life? Or is that about you? Or are you telling a story about your life? And, and really, it's not like that. It's more like poetry. It, it's me putting together these elements to express what I feel about life and I feel about a particular theme or something. And I, I approach it, I think, the same way that maybe if you think of T.S. Eliot writing one of his poems and he, he doesn't go, well, I want to write about my day at the office. He's a clerk for a lot of years. And, you know, he, he wouldn't do that. He would start thinking about uh, this theme and it would be, he would, he would use uh, you know, Greek mythology as, as a way, as, as a metaphor for his topics, as an ideas, and he, suddenly you have a 26 long poem called The Wasteland. And it really probably has nothing to do with his own life or autobiography. And most of my artwork is like that. I always have a, like a, dozens of ideas going at one time, and sketchbook pages full of things, and I'm always working on different themes and, and um, ideas that I, that sometimes one from four pages back in the sketchbook coalesces into another one on a different page. And then I, I, putting things together to make them um, interrelate to each other and, and, and kind of tell a story that way. And it's not my story, it's about the story about life, about things that I think about. I like people in, in an exhibition that come up and say, well, what is that about? And, they, and I like that question. They, it's not obvious, it's also something that it looks like there's a meaning to it, there's something to it. And even if I say what it is, and I go, okay, yeah, but if they own it, and I've heard owners of my artwork say this, like, well, I thought one thing when I bought it, but three years later, I had this experience in life, and I looked at this, and I had a whole different, no, a whole different take on it. It meant an entirely different thing to me than it did when I first looked at it. And I like that's how art can live in someone's life. It can uh, continually change. Not everybody can be an artist, but individuals can represent the idea that not all life is about just jobs and and fulfilling whatever you're required to do to get through. You need people who can sing, you need people who can play music, you need people to make life more um, you know, enjoyable and, and beautiful. You know, this is my 86th solo exhibition, so I had some history to draw upon with exhibitions and uh, galleries. But what's nice about this space is that it has for instance, this whole long wall of windows, and people were coming in who were just looking in the window or, or saw the show last night or the night before. And, um, so that's an interesting and nice thing about that, but it's also, it's just a comfortable layout for a gallery. It's more like a lounge than it is, like a box gallery you go in and you feel like you're, you're intimidated by the, 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 the reduced space. This is very comfortable, it's a lot of seating and, and it's nicely lit and everything and a room for a lot of paint, so it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great place to show.